What are IO games? They have many descriptions but. These are essentially multiplayer type games with minimal graphics. Let's take a closer look. Not all IO games are multiplayer. If you search them on the App Store or Google Play Store, you may be surprised. Some, not all of them, have offline or single player. Why is that? If you were to join a multiplayer game and there's very few players playing would you stay or leave? If you were to join a multiplayer game and it's full of players, would you stay or leave? But is it against rules to advertise a single-player game as a multiplayer game? Well, yes. But if you read and look closely at the descriptions of some of these games, they don't really state that they are multiplayer. It usually is an assumption made by us that they are multiplayer games given they have IO in their name. Most people would leave if they see that not many or nobody is playing, so this is where developers have been one step ahead. By using AI to take over as a player then the games are always full. It will also give you a competitive edge over the game as you're competing against another opponent. This will help with any lag issues compared to a real online game which can lag really bad. So it's a win-win for the developers. They will always have an opponent ready for anybody who plays the game at any time. With BuildBox, we can make the same type of games right now. Take a look at my racing game, I created AI to demonstrate this and with a little tweaking this could be perfect. Another boxer has a great example of this. Webaha. He created Pod Race 3D. It was his first dot .io game created with BuildBox 3 and looks amazing. Definitely check this one out. I made a quick example of a dot .io type game today. I created a game like Agar.io. To create AI within BuildBox, we can give them movement, rotation, random events, and much more. Sky's the limit when creating a game like this. In this game, I have given AI to objects that look just like my character. These have random movements that happen at random times. They also grow just like my character. It's not a full template but like a starting point for this type of game. You can download this from the description below. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.